Look at them! Ooh, yeah! Do you know what? If today was a person, it would be Jennifer Lawrence. It is hot out there. So welcome back to a current favourite. I'm going right in with fashion, okay? And I know I've made a video before about how I don't have a style and I don't consider myself fashionable in the slightest. I think a big part of that was laziness. I will say, I think I've been making more of an effort lately and you guys have definitely noticed. Um, you have seen me wear a lot of pretty little things on my Instagram in recent months. They are a global online fashion brand that I discovered through Instagram from people tagging them and stuff, who I'm lucky enough to now be working with. I know, my job is mental. I remember seeing the hashtag of Pretty Little Thing and clicking through to their Instagram, and I loved how much diversity was in their feed. My goodness, like all shapes and sizes and colors and just so many cool different types of outfits. So when I first looked at their website, I was kind of a bit worried or hesitant because I, I felt like a lot of it was like bodycon and not the kind of stuff that I would wear, and I was worried that I wouldn't find things that would suit me, but my goodness, I was wrong. They have so many affordable like dresses and bikinis and tops and jumpers and shoes and everything especially for summer this is a neon coral bandeau bikini i feel like it's very love island but oh i love it it's high-waisted which is what i always look for in jeans and just in everything in general i feel like I like all my tummy area to be tucked in. I will be going to the beach, because I live beside the sea in Scaries in Dublin. Um, I'll be going to the beach with friends or family or whatever like a few times over the next week. All week this week we've been moving and I've missed out on so much beach fun, but I'm so excited to go. This looks so good on, even though I'm pale. Like I know corals and stuff kind of goes more with a tan, but this is the top part. And I love bikini tops that have no shoulders because my shoulders and like delicatage area is my, one of my favourite parts of my body and I like to show it off and I just, it just makes me feel really confident. I got this bikini bottom as well from Pretty Little Thing but I already have tops to go with it but I just feel like this band is so sucky and I just feel like it would keep you feeling quite um contained, is that the word? I just need bikinis that fit me properly to feel comfortable in them, it's so important to me. Bikinis, swimming suits, anything like that. And yeah, like sports bras as well. So um, this is the one I'm wearing today and it's so comfortable that I even feel comfortable in it when I'm not working out. Um, I'm kind of living in exercise gear lately and I find sports bras a lot more comfortable than regular bras, even though I'm a big lover of lingerie and stuff, but 95% of the time, I'm here for comfort. I'm all about being cozy in my house where I work. And my boobs are a D. I didn't think they were a D until I got measured recently. I thought they were C's, but evidently not. And even as I've been toning up and exercising, they've stayed the same size. <laughs> so yeah, these pretty little things, sports bras are so cute. Like I feel like all their stuff is just quite affordable, but it looks really expensive. You know, like this looks like a real designer, expensive thing. I always see people with these kind of bands on Instagram, in sportswear and underwear and stuff. And yeah, Pretty Little Thing have loads of these kinds of things. Finally, I wanted to show you guys these. And oh my God, should I close that window? I think I should. That better? I pulled the curtain. Anyway, it's very sunny. I've wanted a really good, comfortable pair of like over the thigh, like really high thigh high black suede boots for so long. I saw Estée Lalonde, who is a favourite YouTuber of mine on Instagram in a pair ages back and ever since then it's been on my mind like I want a pair of those for date night. I think Thomas is going to be very delighted with himself when I land in Spain. So I'm in a long distance relationship if you didn't know that and I'm going to be staying with Thomas for his entire final two months in Spain doing pilot training soon. I'm going over next week and I can't wait to go on a date in, in these bad boys. Look at them! Oh yeah! <laughs> They're so gorgeous. And you know what as well? I know it's scary with online shopping and it can be hard to find sizes and things like that, but I'm a UK size six in general, so I ordered that size. And they also are the perfect width within here. So like to my leg, you know, I feel like my legs are quite thick because of exercising and squatting and stuff all the time, but they are like really tight to my leg and they look so good on. I'm so excited to do a little photo shoot wearing these with, with whoever fancies taking that Instagram picture because I'm going to be working it. I kind of bring in random people to just take pics for me sometimes because I'm trying to do and be fashion and it's, it's fun. <laughs> I feel like a little... I don't know, it's like playing when you're a kid and you like playing with your dolls and... Well, I also liked playing with action men, but uh, 
he was there to kiss the Barbies and then all the Barbies would kiss each other. And, and you know what I need to do now? I need to put on my bisexuality pride pin from my merch store, which you guys have ordered hundreds and hundreds of, and I'm so happy is like this. I have four of them here to do a cheeky giveaway with, okay? So all you have to do down below is comment why you want one and include a green love heart. I think they're great for people who aren't out yet to, you know, communicate that to people if they wanted to wear it on their bag or whatever. I think they're great for allies of the LGBTQ plus community. I will be adding a lot more variety of merch soon because I know it's kind of just like cropped stuff and, you know, buy stuff. But one of the things I was thinking of adding because these did so well is like a green love heart pin because that's kind of our emoji. If you noticed, I hijacked that emoji like a couple of years ago and you guys always use that when you're messaging me and things, so maybe green love heart pins that we could all wear just to show that we're we're part of this little corner of the internet. I have so many things here, I need to stop waffling. Perfume, I just wanted to mention the perfume I'm wearing right now because I've kind of been doing that for years on here. And I've gone back to this, I wore this about three years ago. It's the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Not gonna go into it, just smell it. Wood Sage and Sea Salt smell it next time you're going by a Joe Malone shop and you'll see why this is a good investment. I smell amazing. I love it. It's so good. I want candles of it. I want body lotion of it. I don't know. They're all too expensive, but oh, yeah, this is, this has been my summer fragrance so far. Mm. This is probably a weird thing to put in a favorites video. Maybe a bit gross to some of you um, who don't like feet. I used to be like that. I used to be so grossed out by feet, even my own feet, unless I'd had a pedicure. Um, I'm all into getting pedicures and wearing polish on my toes and stuff. I feel like it makes me feel very put together. Um, but I got this in Boots. It is a Soap and Glory foot file and it's for removing dry skin on your feetsies, which us ladies tend to get if we wear a lot of different types of shoes that aren't very well fitted. I know that I often fall prey to the quite cheap shoes just to have variety. Yeah, like wearing heels and all that and being on your feet a lot, it can just damage your feet and just make them quite dry. Um, But my feet have been so soft since I got this and it's just so good. It's so much better than most things that are supposed to get dry skin off your foot. Like I even <laughs> I told my sister about this and she used it and she was like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to get mam one. I need to get everyone one. It's so good. It is unbelievable. The first time I used it was shocking. Ever since then, it's, you know, I've, it, I've been maintaining the, the state that they're in now, but the first time I used it, goodness Mary, it, it gave me a fright. How, how much was coming off of there? And then uh, just super satisfying and um, gives you really lovely soft feet. So I'll do that and then I'll put on loads of moisturizer and then I'll tug on the new fresh little sock and then my feet in there just get nice and moisturized and soft overnight and it's lovely. My two most reached for skin things lately have been the Professional Pearl Primer by Benefit. Can't go anywhere in summer without a good primer but especially this one I've been really liking because it has a kind of pinky pearlescent shade and it just minimizes the look of pores and it keeps your face from getting really 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 shiny really quick. Um, so every single day under my makeup I've been putting this on and it's been helping my makeup to last a bit longer. And then I got this for the first time in years. When I started YouTube, I used to do a lot more beauty videos and stuff like that, but I did a whole video on this, <laughs> a whole video. It's the Vichy Idelia BB Cream with SPF 25, and this is in my exact skin shade. What is it? It just says light shade on it. I don't think they've got a great color choice range or whatever, but it matches my skin perfectly and it's just so good if you don't really want to wear makeup at all but you just want your skin to look a little bit better. Even if you just run into the shops, nothing else on. I love putting this on. BB cream means blemish balm um, so it does kind of blur the look of imperfections on your skin and stuff like that. Not much coverage so sometimes I might put this on and then go in with concealer around my face or a little bit of heavier foundation in certain sections, but it's just more for days when I don't really want to be bothered. But it give, it just makes me look more how I look in my brain. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, when you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Um, and then next, 
have some chocolate. My most reached for snack lately, the Green and Black's Velvet Edition Dark Chocolate Mint blended with refreshing Indian peppermint oil. Um, this has no lactose, it doesn't have that much sugar in it, and it tastes absolutely stunning. So a couple of squares of this after my dinner with some herbal tea or something like that has been a lovely, lovely dessert. I, and I feel like I'm satisfying any kind of craving I might be having, but mainly because I've been watching my diet for my IBS problems and my constipation problems lately. I've been just looking for things that I can have that I know are safe. And with this, I never get a weird reaction or flare up of any crap. Um, so I've been getting through these. I think I've been having about two, three squares of this every day for ages. <laughs> On that same subject, I have some supplements to mention. And now I did get an awful lot of um, new supplements. I showed them at the end of my monthly vlog, gone up there last week in my June monthly vlog. My health coach friend Maria recommended loads of different supplements. Um, these are ones I've been loving. Now I got this actually before I spoke to her and I've gone through the whole box, so this is all gone. And now I'm on a new one, so it's a probiotic, I'll, I'll get there. But uh, I'm on a new probiotic now because it's apparently good to mix them up for your gut health and stuff. This is called OptiBac Probiotics, high in fiber. It has five billion cultures of the well-researched Bifidobacterium lactis BB12 with blah, blah, blah. I don't understand these things. All I can tell you is that I started taking that and I noticed an improvement in my regularity, let's say, and probiotics are so good for so many things. They're good for vaginal health, bell health, just your general comfort in your tummy and like less gas and we need good bacteria so badly and over the years as we get antibiotics and stuff if we have infections it just leaves us in such a terrible state. They don't tell you this in the doctors, they don't explain the effects of an antibiotic, the long-term effects of being on an antibiotic Um, so it's so important to repopulate the healthy bacteria in your gut because the antibiotic kills off the good bacteria as well. One of the things Maria recommended, and I, I know that this is probably because I told her I wanted to address PMS problems, <laughs> you know, from my PMS series and just loads of videos how much of a thing PMS in my life is. Oh, kitty. This here is Clean Marine for Women, Omega-3 Krill Oil with Soy Isoflavones, Rosemary Extract, Vitamins B1, B2, B6 and D3. And it says on here that it regulates hormonal activity, reduces tiredness and fatigue, maintains normal healthy skin, supports normal bone and muscle function. The reason I love these over like, you know, regular cod liver oils and stuff is you don't get that weird aftertaste at all with these, at all. And I know how much of a benefit these are because I did used to take them. I used to be so on top of my health compared to lately, but, and then I was also put on to Magnesium by Maria, 300 milligrams of high potency magnesium. Firstly, I'm gonna leave a link down below on eight different ways that magnesium relieves anxiety and stress. And that is like a resource that has lots of references and stuff as well. Cause in total honesty, even though this has been recommended to me by you guys an awful lot, I only started researching it after I started taking it. Cause, uh, but the first day I took it, I noticed, I noticed so quickly how much less, you know, I was. I, it's like as if my body was constantly like this without me even realizing and I took it and then I was just like, ah, like, ah, I can't explain it. And I Googled it then and there was so many forums full of people who experienced the same thing. Apparently up to 75% of people are deficient in magnesium. And over the past 50 years, magnesium intake has plummeted from, from diet and anxiety levels have soared. And I think it's important that we all talk about this stuff because there's no big money making thing behind supplements you know they don't really you don't see advertisements of of magnesium so that's that's why i'm here that's why other people on the internet are here to talk to you about this stuff i'm just reading this off the internet and it just says studies have shown that magnesium deficiency may contribute to numerous mental health problems including anxiety magnesium is a calming and relaxing mineral i've heard people refer to this as the natural original chill pill um it regulates the nervous system and may help you cope with stress so as to prevent anxiety, fear, nervousness, restlessness, and irritability. All things I experience on the reg. Like, why not try it? It's literally natural, you know? Also, Maria put me on to this, and I've been doing a lot of reading about this stuff as well. This is Great Lakes um, gelatin pasture-raised and grass-fed collagen hydrolysate. <laughs> 
It's an unflavoured protein that you can put in all kinds of drinks. Collagen is the most abundant protein found in our bodies. It's what's in your skin, your bones, your blood, muscles, digestive system, tendons, like you're made of it. It helps give our skin strength and elasticity and stuff like that and our collagen production naturally declines with age and that's also influenced by lifestyle and diet and all that kind of thing and supplementing with it and I know like a lot of supermodels and I don't know I've heard loads and loads of people talk about collagen in videos on the internet and in in interviews. I made a list of my little research. So apparently it improves hair and skin health. So it strengthens hair, nails, teeth, everything. Reduces joint pain and degeneration. Helps heal leaky gut. Boosts metabolism, improves liver health and protects cardiovascular health. For something that's tasteless that I can just drop into a smoothie and has so many benefits, it has protein that's really easily assimilated by the body. I'm like, why not just take it? <laughs> My final favourite is the TV show Sopranos, which I first watched years and years ago and I'm re-watching right now with Thomas while we're in different places. We'll like both press play at the same time and we'll both watch an episode each a night. And I absolutely adore Sopranos. Sopranos is about the mafia and it kind of centers around a family. It's very much about family relationships and just kind of mental health and stuff like that as well. So the whole setup is that he's going to see a psychiatrist and he's talking to her about his problems and then it also shows, you know, his work life and been um, in the mafia and it's HBO so it's the same station as Game of Thrones and Sex and the City and stuff and it's probably my favourite show and that's really hard for me to say but it's probably my favourite show and I'm kind of re realising how much I love it now by re-watching it. I love watching things that I've already seen with someone else who I know will like it who hasn't seen it. I don't know why I get so much pleasure out of that, but um, I'm so into it. I'm all about it. So if you've never watched it, but you've heard about it a lot, just give it a go. Watch the pilot and see what you think. Um, but you really do care about the characters and it's, it has a weird way of making you root for Tony Soprano, even though he is not a very nice man. <laughs> Those are my current favourites and I'd love to know what yours are down in the comment below and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I want to thank Pretty Little Thing for sponsoring this video and yeah, I'll be back really soon because I'm, I'm always here every week. Subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Bye!